Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So my name is Beth, I go by the username Be More Creative both here on Instagram and on YouTube. So as you can probably hear by my voice, I am not feeling the best. I've come down with um, quite a nasty cold and a very sore throat. But I wanted to make sure this year I kept going with the floss tube. So I do apologise if the um, if my voice is not sounding the nicest to listen to. So I'm going to try and keep this video rather short and hopefully I won't be coughing during the whole video. So January was quite, turned out to be quite a good month. I ended up having four finishes, um, which I will insert a photo up here at the finishes. I showed them on my last um, floss tube. I didn't end up finishing them i still have to ffo them that is my goal before valentine's day is to have those finished um i'm trying there's so many other cute valentine's patterns i'm not sure if i'm going to squeeze another one in or if i'm going to keep them for next year silver creek samplers um just released um a freebie on her website so definitely go and check that out it's called um, do everything in love and it is just such a cute one and I think that would be really really cute in a little four inch frame um, so definitely something that if I do stitch another one it possibly could be that or the hands-on design one that she's released she releases one every year for her anniversary and kindly um, gives them to us as a freebie. So she also has a really cute one as well. But as I said, I'm not quite sure. I have a couple of finishes. I need to FFO those. And if I have the time, I may add them to this year's Valentine's display. Or if not, I will definitely be adding them to next year. So that, um, as I said, I was doing Stitch From Stash. So I didn't spend anything um, in the month of January on cross stitch supplies and that gave me a credit of £25 for those finishes so I go into the month of February with a credit of £25 so really looking forward to this really enjoying it and still second month in and still quite strong I'm actually filming this video on Friday the 3rd of January uh, 3rd of January 3rd of February even um, and it will be going up on Sunday the 5th I've decided um, after the feedback that I've had, a lot of people tend to watch Floss Tube on the Sunday, so I'm going to keep the same upload for now. As we get later on in the year, I may change it, especially when it's exam season and over the summer when things are busy and at the weekends I'm with family. So I will just see how how that goes and um, judge from there. But thank you so much to everyone who has given me feedback on all of those things. So these past two weeks, I have felt really, really productive. So the first finish I have to show you. So I have two finishes and one finish for now. So the finish for now is the Caterpillar Cross Stitch um, British Isles Adventure. So I said I was taking part in this one. And I am really going to try and keep up on this stitch along. So I actually stitched part one and finished it on the same day it came out. So it came out on the 26th of January and it is coming out, there are six parts and it's coming out each month and I'm loving it so far. Um, I didn't iron my fabric or anything, so I do apologize, all of them are a little bit wrinkled, but that is the first part done. I love the Caterpillar cross stitch pieces. There's so much fun to, Sorry, I got the hiccups. They're so much fun to stitch and they are really, really easy. Um, there is no back stitch or anything difficult in them. It is just straightforward full crosses and they they play with colours that I wouldn't normally play with. So I'm really enjoying that one. That is the first part of my finish. Um, and the next part of that will be coming out on the 26th. My next finish I am so happy for. This has been in my whips um, since, I want to say the summer of 2021. Let me just double check that. Um, yeah, I started it, yeah, the 1st of July 2021 and I finished it on the 1st of February. So this is My Shadow by Heartstring Samplers sorry heartstring samplery 
and this piece was one that when I first started stitching someone had shown a photo of this and I fell in love with it. I searched everywhere and got the part, the um, chart off of eBay. At the time I didn't realise that you could get these as PDFs, you can actually get this as, on a PDF on Best Twists website, Heartstring Samplery, um, so if you are looking for it you can get it in that format, but I have finally finished it. And it is all finished. I absolutely love how it turns out. So I stitched mine on 20 count Cassia Rosa, Rosé sorry, um, by Chromatic Alchemy. I've stitched this in, sul the black is sulky, and the pink, I did find out what it is. I can't remember now, so it will be down in the information description box below. In the description box below, you'll find out all the information about the pieces that I'm currently working on or have finished. Um, because I list it all there in case I forget anything, but I'll just show you a little bit closer. So it is quite a large piece. It is full coverage. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to FFO this. Probably be in a frame of some sort, but it definitely won't be FFO'd at the moment. I don't have the, the, um, the storage um, space for lots of framed pieces, so I will definitely be looking into that. But it is on a 13 by 18 um, piece of fabric and it does take up pretty much the whole thing so it is a very large piece I am glad I've got that done and as I'm doing the stitch from stash the finish for that one the base finish gives me £34.86 um, as I said I'm not doing extra for stitching on fancy fabric or anything like hand dyed fabrics or hand dyed threads um, I'm just keeping it as the base value so really really happy I've got that one down that is my first finish for the I Dare You Sal um, that I am taking part in so really really loving the fact that these challenges are really making me focus on getting things finished and the no buying is giving me that wanting to to raise enough money that when I do see something that I really really want if there is something at market that I really really want then I can because I have finished enough pieces to do that so another challenge that I am taking part in is the Colorado cross stitcher um, winter cross stitch camp so she does a winter cross stitch camp she does a summer one um, I'm not sure if there's another one in the year but this year I have decided to join in the winter one and her theme for this month, so it is for the month of February and it is to stitch something as part of a collection. So it could be a seasonal piece, it could be a sampler, It you can interpret it in multiple different ways. Um, to take part in this you use the hashtag cross stitch camp and hashtag Colorado cross stitcher on Instagram and you need to post it at the start of the month so you still could post it now you still are able to to take part um, and you take a picture of your fabric your threads and your and the front page of your pattern so not actually the chart just the picture and I decided I wanted to continue to really stitch on seasonal pieces I really want to make this display which I am absolutely loving behind me as a feature piece. This is the only decorations I have up in my room. I don't really have space to store or display loads of pieces so attaching these onto my bed meant that I could have an additional display area and it is making me so happy. So I decided I was going to challenge myself and work on seasonal pieces this year. So for cross stitch camp I'm working from the Jelly Bean Jubilee with my needle and thread which is um, designs by Brenda Gervais. And she has got a couple of different books. She's got a Valentine's Day, a Halloween one. I have the Halloween, Easter, the Snowman one, and there's a Patriotic. Um, I really want to get the Valentine's Day and the Snowman one, which is something that I may actually purchase soon because um, I'm not sure how long these are going to be around, especially because it's getting more difficult in the UK to find them. So that may be um, a purchase that I make. I'm going to see if I can find them on Marketplace or on eBay, if not I will see if any of my local um, LNS shops actually still have them in stock. Most of the time when I've been online I cannot see them um, in the UK, they often are sold out. So definitely um, the other two I really want to get, I really enjoy stitching these patterns. So 
I have decided for this challenge I am going to be stitching at least two of the things so that's what I've said just two of them that way I can focus on my other pieces but hopefully I will be stitching more um, I'm not entirely sure which is going to be my second piece so you have these ones on the front here and then the other ones are displayed on the back I'm going to be stitching mine on 18 count um, putty khaki Davos fabric which I have to say is not the easiest fabric to stitch on um, but I stitched what is this one called I think it's walking through the tulips or tiptoeing through the tulips and I have stitched mine using Jodry Designs threads for the most part um, the duck I used gentle um, gentle arts harvest moon um, the green is a classic color work I think it's steamed broccoli yeah so the green is steamed broccoli I really struggled to find a um, Jodry design thread in my collection that would stand up on this in terms of the green because it is like that khaki green color but yeah so I've used steamed broccoli classic color works Gentle Arts Harvest Moon, all of the others are Jodry Designs threads which are gorgeous hand dyed threads in the UK. Um, they are affordable, absolutely stunning to work with. I love the variegation so you can see mine are quite stripy because I stitched in the stripes and then I love how she does the little bow on hers at the end. So that is my first one finished. I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do for my second one. I think I will just randomly pick one because eventually I do wanna stitch them all. They are just so gorgeous. So absolutely love that piece. And this one gave me a finish value of eight pounds. So, so far this month doing really, really well with the finishes. Um, Someone did ask me for the cross stitch challenge, am I going to be claiming monthly for my sales? So for the British Isle Adventure by Caterpillar Cross Stitch, no I'm not. Um, I worked it out, it'd be something like £3.30 for each part finished and then the last part would be the, the additional like 5p or something. Um, but I've decided I'm not going to because my... I really want to motivate myself to finish and having this as like a goal of I can't spend anything unless I've earned it is really really making me work so I am going to be looking for the other ones in this collection not the patriotic because um, that doesn't I'm in the UK um, that's more the American patriotic one if they had a UK one I definitely would but um, so definitely the snowman one and the Valentine's Day and I think they have another one which is like a hand stitching um, like a sewing themed one um, but definitely the seasonal ones I will definitely be looking to pick up and I've earned that I have been stitching quite a lot um, and giving myself that focus to do that so definitely something and also I am a little bit worried that those will um, disappear and I won't be able to get them so right um, I have one active whip at the moment so this one I have not got very far on at all um, this is resting witch face so with the idea of wanting to work seasonal I also am wanting to work through my stitch um, my whips that I have in my stitch my whips in progress um, and a lot of my whips I have put away are actually Halloween um, because each year I tell myself I am going to stitch Halloween I am going to work on them I'm going to have Halloween display but I am not a big lover of Halloween I do a Halloween party for the students and I go all out with their decorations but in my bedroom I don't display Halloween so I really want to change that especially with this new setup I'm loving it so I picked back up this one now there is no reason as to why I'm not further along on this except for everything else that I've been focusing on um, so I picked this up yesterday I am stitching this on a random I think it's 16 count fabric I'm using all the cord for colors I actually think this fabric came in a kit from Caterpillar Cross Stitch where I changed it to a higher count so I just had this one laying around and this so I had the outline and the resting witch face text done 
but all of this centre part here is what I worked on yesterday. So I'm hoping to get that finished by next time, but I am struggling because this chart is just black and white. Um, and I find a coloured chart so much easier, especially with the issues with my eyes. And this one has got quite a few symbols, like quite a few triangle symbols. Um, I think three, yeah, three of the different colours are triangle symbols. So it's difficult for me to work out which triangle I'm actually, which colour I'm meant to be stitching on. But I am pushing through. It is a small chart. It's 61 by 65. Um, but... I am really, really hoping that I will get this one done. Well, at least before Halloween. I'm not going to say in the next two weeks I'm going to get it done because it depends on where my focus is at. So, what am I going to be focusing on? So, my I Dare You Sell. So, I allocated um, the different charts to each month. So, the focus is to get them finished. Now, if I don't get them finished in exactly in that month, so like the the one that I've, um, the Heartstring Sampery one, I had that finished on the 1st of February. I just carried it over until I had the finish. My February focus, and I'm really sorry, this chart has taken a real beating, is Autumn Town by Autumn Lane Stitchery. I absolutely love this piece. Every time I I pull it out, I love it and really want to focus on it, but I never get much done on it. Sorry about that. So I never really get much um, focus on this piece. So I'm stitching this on a Jodry Designs 18 count Ada in the shade Jade Dragon. And the way that um, Aaron from Autumn Lane Stitchery has designed it, all of the green heel is actually the fabric, so you don't stitch that part. So I have got the big sky to do. I am nearly at one page finish. This chart has, I think, four pages. And I've nearly, well, I say nearly, I have got all of the sky section to do in the top part. But I've done a majority of a page. And with this one, I am doing my own thread conversion. Um... I'm using Sulky, DMC, I'm using um, Classic Colorworks, Gentle Arts, I think there's a Weak Style Works in there as well. It is a mix match of different um, threads because at the time of stitching this I um, had just really gotten into buying different threads and not really assigning them to anything. So I am working my way through this one and my goal is to have this one finished. And as I said, um, February's a little bit of a shorter month, so if it carries over, it carries over. But I've just, I've set myself the goal of getting those 12 pieces um, done. And I'm assigning one each month to be a real focus, and then I will just keep working at it as it goes along. So that is my idea you sell focus. I do need to do one more of the Jelly Bean Jubilees, which as I said, um, my goal for the cross stitch camp is to get two done but hopefully i will be able to get some more done so i can add those to the collection um i do need to work on some ffoing in the next two weeks i need to get my valentine day pieces finished and ready to display and i'm still tempted to do at least one more um of a valentine's day stitch i'm just not entirely sure which one i plan to finish yet so I will keep you all dated, updated. Now, I'm going to head off because I'm back at work in a couple of hours and I think I just need to sit down and chill and watch a movie and just relax. Um, I haven't even got the, <laughs> the, the brain focus to stitch today, so I think I'm just going to chill and watch a movie. And hopefully I will be back up and stitching tomorrow in my break, so... I will see you all in two weeks. Thank you so much for your amazing comments. Your support has been absolutely amazing. All the welcome bags have been lovely. And I am really, really going to work on keeping going and keeping um, up with the two-week schedule. Hopefully, I will have some more finishes next week. Um, having Working on smalls is a lot of what I'm going to be doing this year just because it is easier on my eyes to be stitching on larger count fabric but I will be trying to finish some of my whips 
and get those all finished. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Happy stitching. Bye guys.